during your site for yourself, you have an option for groups. Okay, so there are my classes. Let's go to the wonderful, wonderful somewhere. Okay, now, I have sent this to you. So there is the nine point circle that is in the link in your part two. So if you just click on that, and there's the applet. Okay, um, it tells you um, with some little information and things that they want you to know, do and recognize. So these white little points here are vertices. Take your time with this applet. Um, study the dynamics. So basically, it says slide me very slowly. I want you to slide, see what happens, what is made first. Okay, and what comes after that. Continues to happen. Look at these points that are formed, and then there. Now, you can move this around because it does ask some questions on part two. One of the questions it asked was about um, when you move are the different points in the equilateral uh, view. So, like, recognize what happens when you have different sizes of your triangle. And I think you see this purple line. That should be similar to the line that you made. And I meant to show you something with that. Because our line here in the applet doesn't go all the way through. But we can talk about how to make that happen on the construction. I'll just show it on the embedded part. So down here are your questions. And this is part of, this is basically some of the questions you should answer and have in your presentation for your part two. So now let's say you're ready to um, share this discovery. Now, if you use PowerPoint, your um, embedded file or your link will not be interactive. Now, the key to this, or the, to get maximum points, it needs to be interactive. And to do that, you have to do that on a Sway. So I'll show you how to do that. I've already put some tutorials on Sway in uh, your project folder. And Sway is free. Uh, you do not have to download anything. It comes with your Microsoft Office 365. And we'll talk about that on the next video. So we're talking about some embedding, adding. If you click on these little three dots right here, not the three dots, the what's that? The sync symbol, I think. Share. Um, you get the option right here to share it as a link, as an email, or to embed. If you are doing Sway, which gives you your opportunity for maximum points, you need to embed. Um, and I'm going to show you how to do that with the Sway video that's next. If you're just doing a link onto uh, your PowerPoint, it needs to do this. Try to do a hyperlink um, so that I can j you can just click on or I can just click on your link and it comes straight to it comes straight to your construction or comes straight to this worksheet where I can um, actually manipulate the vertices. Now, I think, let me check, no, this one doesn't, but sometimes you have the option to make comments. But you don't need to do that on here. Just do that on your project. So that takes care of part two. Uh, you might want to do this a couple times so you can see exactly what happens. You might want to change the size of the triangle. I like it when we talk about that. Like when does it happen that your three points that are on the Euler line are all together? You might want to talk about that. Um, that's your analysis part on your rubric. All right. So. Um, like I said, in Edmodo, in the folder, you have your steps here, um, your link to turn in your project. I'm going to do that after I talk about the Sway video. And here is your Sway videos. And there is your project rubric. Um, and the project, again, if you need a copy. So thank you for watching. If you have any more questions, please just hit me up on the Edmodo. Email me. I should hopefully be uh, easily available this weekend. All right, thanks.